My name is Melissa Jones. I teach journalism at Clackamas Community College, and I'm here with Jonathan Via Gomez, who's been a photographer, photo editor, and editor in chief of the Clackamas Print, the student media at the college. I've been here roughly about three years, and it ended up turning a little bit longer than I expected. But you know, when you go to a college for the first time, you want to follow a path, but then a year later you're like, oh, this probably isn't right for me, and you make small, small adjustments. And for me, that adjustment was from music to journalism, and I'm glad that at Clackamas Community College, you know, they had um, a lot of good people to support me in helping me make these changes, so I'm really appreciative for that. So do you also play an instrument? Yeah, so um, I play keyboards, that's my main instrument, but um, I've also played saxophones. When I graduated high school, I was still unsure of what I wanted to do as a career or what I wanted to pursue in education but I knew that music had always been a big part of my life. And then you eventually moved to journalism, is that right? Yeah. You took pictures in high school, right? Yeah, so I was the, the yearbook photographer and that's where I started off. Um, and from there, I wanted to continue doing photography because I loved it so much in high school. Um, so I joined the Clackamas Prints. I just fell in love with the whole journalism viewpoint, just um, you know, going after the facts and just, it was a lot more stress, but I felt like it was well worth it. In addition to your journalism at the college and in the community, uh, one thing that has impressed me about you is that you're like a really good friend to other people in the classroom and you're a, a role model and a mentor. And even, uh, for example, recently, um, we wanted to cover the vaccination clinic at the Wilsonville campus. And we had a new writer, who, a newer writer, who was gonna cover it. And I asked for volunteers if anybody could go with him. And even though you weren't on the paper anymore, you volunteered to go with Joe to the Wilsonville campus. Um, so that's one thing that I've really appreciated about you is being willing to help new students and uh, new writers. Um, and you also give tours on campus. Um, and one question I have for you is, um, do you sleep? Yeah, it's, it, it's a hard balance, you know, because apart from all this stuff at you know, school, which I love to be really involved with my community and helping everyone out. You know, I also have my own personal things to take care of with my music, I still do music, and my family, and of course my friends. So I think that's one of the hardest part about being you know, a student, is just having time to balance work and school and just your family. But you know, I try to fit and sleep wherever I can. <laughs> so. And despite all of your work that you're doing, like working for catering on the coast, and we have this joke in the class that we've had students call into our Zoom meetings while getting tattooed, like while in the drive-through, while getting a haircut. Jonathan had one of the top ones. He called in from a Starbucks in Cancun where he was helping his family build a house. And then on the way home, we dialed into our Zoom call from the airplane, which we're not sure if that's legal or not, but he still took the risk, yeah. Yeah, so it's, you know, you just gotta be, you gotta get to class somehow. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't miss a class. And you know, if there's Wi-Fi, I'll be there. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all my friends and family for all their ongoing support these last few years. It's been crazy and you know it's kind of hard to keep tabs on me because I'm kind of everywhere but you know it's you know I'm slowly going to get to the goals that I want and I'm not in a rush so I'm willing to take the time and you know I'm thankful for everyone that's been standing by my side giving me that support um, you know both financially and just um, helping me boost my morale sometimes when I'm kind of having a bad day. So I'm really appreciative to everyone that's been in my life to support me and you know I can't do this without you guys so I thank you so much.